A family from Cape Elizabeth is thanking emergency crews for saving their teenage son's life after he fell through the ice. It happened on Wednesday on Great Pond, which is where the family reunited with the police officer who risked his own safety to bring their boy home. Here's New Center Maine's David Guildford. I just prayed in that moment, like with everything that I had, that Nathaniel would have the strength to be able to get onto that boat and pull himself on it. As a mother, <laughs> Tiffany Drake's worst fears played out Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. It started as a normal day. Her 14-year-old son, Nathaniel, walked to Great Pond with his friends That's to play cool. hockey. Look, look, my skate was right there oh, and no. go all the way up. It's in their neighborhood. They checked the ice the night before. Tiffany left the boys to walk the dog just around the corner, still 100 feet from shore. That's when I fell through. The ice broke, sending Nathaniel into frigid water. His friends called 911 and tried to throw a nearby rescue rope, but the wind blew it away. Rescue crews arrived quickly, but they too had trouble, all while the teen was fading. They were trying to get out to me and throw me the stuff, and then um, when the guy like fell through and tried to like slide his body across, I thought like that was pretty much all they could do until um, Officer Webster jumped in. So I raced down with the officer and I thank God that I got there with the officer because he looked me in the eyes and said stay here and I looked out into the ice and my little kid was in the water with his head sticking out. Yeah, it is a little bit eerie. Officer Aaron Webster returned to the scene Thursday. He recalled being one of the last ones there, the last to try and go into the water with a stretcher to get Nathaniel. I was losing strength myself. I, mean, I got so tired so quickly, it was, it was incredible. Um, you know, that confidence of being a good swimmer and things like that, totally out the window. He pushed the stretcher and Nathaniel grabbed on. The crew pulled him to shore and an ambulance got him to a hospital. I was really scared I was gonna like, lose like fingers or toes. And um, also scared of like hypothermia, stuff like that, but um, they told me I'd be fine, so. Thankful. Thankfully, he can smile now, but he spent 15 minutes in the water, and Tiffany was told his body temperature dropped to 92 degrees, much longer, and things could have ended far worse. They came down, and they were all about business, and they kept level heads. They worked together as a team, all of them, and they got him out. <laughs> they got him out. In Cape Elizabeth, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. And Cape Elizabeth Police Chief Paul Fenton tells New Center Maine all open water areas in town have emergency ropes stored on shore. And he says this incident has moved the department to look into what other rescue gear their officers can keep with them.